Hey, what's up, everyone? Same time gaming here. Welcome back for another Genshin Impact guide video. And today I'm going to show you all the location for 15 stabilizers in the game that's been added in 4.1 update and also how to do them. They are very simple to do, but some of them can be a little tedious. So let me just show you. All right, so let's do this one first because I actually discovered this one first. So you can see on the map, this is the location uh, for this one uh, in this area. So to do this, we just need to collect the Numa buff from there. It's right there in front of you. You can just take the buff and then hit the energy source over there and then go and activate the stabilizer and then just, uh, you know, aim and shoot when the ring kind of reaches the blue glowing thing. Uh, just hit it multiple time and you will get your chest. Uh, don't miss it. If you miss hit it, then it, it'll reset. So you have to activate it again. So that's it. And so the next one is actually where the new Fontaine Research Institute is. Uh, you can take the teleporter if you have it. Just uh, jump down and you'll see it's right there. Uh, it's the same thing. Just take the Numa buff and hit it and then activate and start shooting. Be careful. It kind of speeds up, you know, uh, so take your time. This one gives you a common chest though. As for this one, this one's also close to New Fontaine Research Institute. You can see over here on the map. Uh, and also the same thing, like go up there, take that, uh, uh, you know, Numa buff. And then hit that energy thing and activate the uh, stabilizer and start shooting. Uh, be careful again if it speeds up, you know, just uh, take your time. But after you do that, there will be actually a couple of NPCs that are going to spawn. So you have to like defeat them and then you will unlock the chest. It's a bit too much for a common chest, I would say. But it is what it is. Now this next one over here right now, as you can see on the map, has, I think it's on a broken boat, I believe. Yeah. So same thing, you know, just collect the buff, which is on the top uh, of the boat over there. Uh, so on, on the front, yeah. Collect the Numa buff and, uh, you know, hit it, hit the energy thing with it and activate your stabilizer and just start, you know, hitting the stabilizer thing. And once you're done, you're going to get an exquisite chest. So yeah, pretty simple. Now, this next one is actually uh, over here on the map. It's actually a big uh, helichal kind of camp. Uh, this one's not going to give you any reward uh, because it's tied to a separate thing, which I already made a video on the channel. So if you want, you can do that. You can get a luxurious chest as well as, uh, you know, um, an achievement from it. So if you if you want to, you know, do that, you can follow that video. I will link it in the description. Uh, but for this one, if you just want to do it, uh, you know, if you want to unlock the chest that actually doesn't give you any Primo Gems or anything, it rewards you with a gear component. And to, to do this, basically, uh, you just uh, defeat some enemies over there and go to the next place over there. You'll find uh, the energy thing. Just pick it up and then place it uh, right next to uh, the stabilizer and then activate the stabilizer and obviously, you know, start hitting it. And once you're done, the chest, which is locked over there, will be unlocked. And once you open it, you'll get a gear uh, kind of component thing. Uh, which requires to do the uh, other you know objectives in this area so like i said watch that video you'll understand all right as for the stabilizer number six this one's actually uh underground and to do this you obviously need to go underground it's a hidden place uh, you need to first discover it there's also a quest in this area you can do which again i made a video about it so if you want to watch that the quest actually gives you quite a lot of primo gems uh so if you want to you know do that i will link it in the description uh, but to get to this place, first of all, you need to be underground and take the jellyfish buff, uh, which will, you know, explode the area and and, and uh, open open the place, the hidden area. So, yeah, go there and just straightforward. It's pretty straightforward. Just uh, follow the pathway and then you will open a gate. And once you get there, you will trigger a cutscene, which is obviously for the you know story. But you don't really have to do the story if you're just here for the stabilizer. Just glide uh, right side. Uh, it's right there. So just jump down over there. And uh, you will see there is a buff. Just take that Numa buff and then activate, uh, you know, your uh, stabilizer and then start hitting it. Once you're done, you're going to get the uh, chest, which is exquisite chest. And that's it. So this is the first stabilizer where I couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong. It's located over here on the map. You can just, uh, you know, take this teleporter. Uh, it's over here right now. It's pretty simple. It looks pretty simple. I, I was just doing it the way I was normally doing. I was hitting with Yellen, but it wasn't really working. Uh, you can see it's not working. 
so then I decided to switch to writing Shogun and started milling it. Yes. Yeah, so you pretty much have to melee it. So activate it and then just start hitting it when the ring goes to the blue thing and then hope for the best. That's all I can say. But if you successfully start, start to melee and then, you know, uh, make it count, uh, then you will get uh, precious chest as a reward, which is which is nice because it was it was resetting all the time. That's all I can say. So be be careful, okay? Now for this next stabilizer is actually under the water, so you can take this uh, you know teleporter over here waypoint if you have it unlocked, uh, and then come to this area. Uh, this one's actually covered by uh, like an invisible wall, you know that blue invisible wall. Uh, so to get rid of that, first of all, you need to take the jellyfish buff, you know the bomb one. So just go next to that uh, flower, that red looking flower over there and just bomb that flower and that will uh, open up that mechanism. Just touch that, change its color uh, and that will actually get rid of the wall, the invisible wall and then come and interact with the uh, terminal over here. Let's activate the terminal which will activate the stabilizer and then just start hitting the stabilizer, uh, you know, with your uh, uh, underground uh, attacks. So just do that and once you're done with it, you're going to get the chest unlocked and that's it. Now, as for the stabilizer number nine, it's actually located near a tower over here, which is a uh, top left corner of the map right now. And uh, once you get here, you will kind of trigger a quest, uh, which which you can trigger it by reading a note from a table. Uh, I will make an in-depth guide video on that later on. It's actually a very small quest. Uh, it takes like a couple of minutes to do and you get 40 Primo gems, which is nice. So if you want to get to the stabilizer, I would suggest you do the quest. But I'm also going to show you a way that you can bypass uh, without doing the quest and reach the stabilizer because the pathway is kind of blocked uh, by the wall and to, you can kind of bypass that. So if you just stay on the right side of the stair and just dash or run or something like that, you will be able to make uh, through. Uh, I was able to use my Yelan E skill and stay on the right side of the stair and I was able to go up. Somehow it just, uh, you know, pulled me in. <laughs> I don't know, it just worked. And then you can just do the stabilizer normally. And then don't forget to go upstairs because uh, there's a precious chest there as well. But I would still suggest you to do the quest because uh, you get, you know, 40 Primo Gems from the quest as well. So, and it doesn't even take much time. So that's pretty much it for this one. Now, so this stabilizer is actually located on this small kind of island over here on the left side of the map. And to do this, uh, you just need uh, one of those energy thing. And it's actually uh, hiding inside a crate. So just defeat the enemy, uh, destroy the crate. And then grab it and put it right next to the stabilizer. Activate the stabilizer and just do the stabilizer that you, like you normally would do. And that will give you the exquisite chest. So that's simple. Now, so the stabilizer number 11 is actually located on the top left side of the map. And to do this, uh, you just obviously there will be some enemies. So, you know, take them out. Uh, you just need to go up and grab the OSHA buff. And then uh, hit that thing with that buff and it'll reveal like a water kind of launcher thingy. Uh, so enter on that and go up uh, and don't forget to grab the energy source which is actually up there. I actually failed on my first try so I had to go back again. Uh, so yeah, just go and grab it and bring it down, put it right next to the stabilizer and just, you know, activate the stabilizer and do it like you normally would do. It, it does speed up a little bit, nothing crazy. So do that and it'll unlock the chest, which is obviously a precious chest. So yeah, that's good. All right, now stabilizer number 12 is actually really easy to do. So just go to this location on the map. And once you come here, you'll see obviously there's a, you know, the Numa buff. So go grab that buff and hit that thing uh, with the buff. It will destroy it and it will reveal one of those uh, energy things. So just grab... Uh, that and put it right next to the stabilizer activate the stabilizer and then just do it you know like you normally would do and it will give you an exquisite chest so yeah that's it now as for this stabilizer is actually under the water here as well uh, so just uh, take this teleporter if you have it unlocked or just dive down so once you come here just grab the jellyfish buff uh, there is a jellyfish nearby so grab that because we need that and go in the middle of those three flowers uh, the red ones and then place the bomb between those two flowers and explode them. Uh, and also hit the third one, which is close to the stabilizer by with your attack. So that will get rid of all three of them. And it will also going to reveal you the, uh, you know, the Numa buff. So grab that and then hit the Osha and uh, it will uh, reveal the energy source. Now you can activate your stabilizer and do it like you would normally do. And then you will get the exquisite chest from it. So that's it. 
Now, as for a stabilizer number 14, for that, you need to be in this location on the map. You can see. And once you come here, just uh, go and interact with the uh, terminal. Just activate that. And once you're in the terminal, you can see the switch. So just uh, switch it. And once you switch it, you will be able to see the uh, energy source uh, from the other side. Just grab the energy source and uh, switch back immediately. And then basically transfer the energy source to the other one, which is right next to the uh, stabilizer. And once you do that, just exit out the terminal and go to the stabilizer and activate it. And just do the stabilizer like you would normally do. And once you're done, you're going to get a precious chest from it. So yeah, that's it. All right. Now as for the final stabilizer, it's actually located over here. You can see on the map, you can take this teleporter over here. Or you can take the Statue of Seven as well to come here. And once you come here, it's actually very easy. The energy source is like right there next to it, like the opposite to the stabilizer. Just grab that, I put it next to it, activate it, and do it. And once you do that, you'll get an exquisite chest. So that's pretty simple. It's done. So that's pretty much all the stabilizers uh, I covered up. And if you, you know, uh, found this video helpful, just give it a like and subscribe if you want, because I will be posting more uh, of these videos uh, in the future as well. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, peace.